Hello and welcome to another edition of the Read Aloud Book Club. I am so glad that you are joining me today. I have a wonderful story. It's called Angelina at the Fair by Katherine Holabird and Helen Craig. So I hope you enjoy this fun story. All winter long, Angelina had been saving her pennies for the wonderful day when the fair would come again. When she wasn't busy dancing, she would sit by her window and daydream about the Ferris wheels and roller coasters. She liked all the most exciting rides. At last, when the snow had melted and the wind was soft and warm again, the May Day Fair arrived in town. Angelina's ballet class performed a maypole dance at school in celebration of spring. And Angelina almost flew around the maypole. She was so excited. All the parents watched and cheered. After the dance, Angelina was ready to go to the fair with her friends, but her parents stopped her. You've forgotten that little cousin Henry is visiting today, said Angelina's father. He will be very disappointed if he can't go to the fair with you. Angelina was furious. I don't want to take Henry, she said. I hate little boys. But Henry held out his hand just the same, and Angelina had to take him with her. The music from the fair was already floating across the fields, and Angelina's friends had gone ahead. She grabbed Henry's hand and dragged him along behind her, running as fast as she could. At the entrance to the fair was a stand of brightly colored balloons. Oh, look, cried Henry, balloons. But Angelina didn't pay any attention. We're going on the Ferris wheel, she said. The Ferris wheel was huge and Henry was frightened. But Angelina loved the feeling of soaring up in the air. And so they took two rides. When they got off, Henry felt sick, but he cheered up when he saw the merry-go-round. Look, he said, can we go on that? Not now, said Angelina, we're going on the fast rides. She took poor Henry on the roller coaster. Henry shut his eyes and held on tightly as the little car zoomed up and down the tracks. Angelina loved it and wanted to go again, but Henry wasn't sure he wanted to take any more rides at all. See his face? Then Angelina saw the haunted house. You'll like this, she said, and pulled Henry inside. He doesn't look very happy. A big spider dangled just above their heads as they went in, and a skeleton jumped out and pointed right at them. When they bumped into a ghost, Angelina reached out to touch Henry, but he was gone. Henry, Henry, Angelina called, but there was no answer in the darkness. Angelina hurried back to the haunted house trying to find him. She looked everywhere until she got tangled up in the spider and had to be rescued by the ticket seller. Angelina didn't see Henry outside the haunted house either. She ran through the crowds looking for him. She ran past all the rides and all the games, but Henry was nowhere to be found. At last, she was so worried and upset that she sat down by the entrance to the fair and began to cry. She is running through the floor, the fair. She's so upset. Hmm. And there, watching the balloon man blow up the beautiful balloons, was Henry. Angelina was so relieved, she gave him a big hug and kiss. What is your favorite color, Henry? She asked. Henry chose a blue balloon. What would you like to do now? Angelina asked kindly. Henry said he wanted to go on the merry-go-round. So they went on three times, and they both loved it. 
Wow, Angelina t changed her tune, didn't she? Afterward, they had a double chocolate ice cream cone and walked home slowly together. I like fairs, said Henry, and Angelina smiled. You can come with me any time, she said. And that's the story of Angelina at the fair. So sometimes when you're only thinking about yourself, keep in mind that somebody else's feelings matter too. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and thank you for doing this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.